the MIG is not the way to do this, uh, and I'm just going to take it in and, uh, and get it tigged rather than have it look like a So we stripped our forks down, took the upper tubes in to get them anodized. We got our fork tubes back in black, and uh, we stopped by the tuners and uh, sat around with them while they assembled everything. And they turned out awesome. So we've got our wheel sensor here, and we've got the tone ring on the wheel. So we don't have anything cast in here, so we've got to make a bracket to hold this. So the wheel speed sensor uh, signal is used by the ECM, and it controls your speedometer and your uh, ABS and your traction control. If you have a DCT bike, it helps determine shift points and things like that. They need to be basically as close to the tone ring as they can be without touching. Um, I measured the stock bike before I took it apart and it was about one and a quarter millimeters So we're gonna shoot for that and yeah make a, a bracket here. It's just uh, is gonna piggyback the two axle clamp bolts and then have the tab So I've got a real simple bracket fabbed up here that I've drilled the two holes in for the axle clamp and then sort of made a, a sail piece here and it's just gonna go over top of the axle clamps with longer bolts. And then the sensor goes in like that. This wiggles around right now. So the easiest way to get this in the right spot is going to be to use socket head bolts and then just tack a piece of tubing over top of the head so that once everything is bolted in, this is located by the tubing around the heads. So that's the plan right now. All right, so we've got our socket head cap screws here. I'm gonna not tighten them right up, just snug-ish. And we'll drop our sensor in. We can have a look and see how close we are. And right now we're touching. I'm gonna wiggle everything back. So we're right around that millimeter and a quarter mark. So that's exactly where we want to be. So we can snug these bolts up. And then we can recheck our sensor here. So that's good there. I have cut rings here and they are, the ID is the same as the OD on a socket head bolt. So we're going to drop these over top like that and then we're going to weld them to the plate so when we put these bolts in this is going to be perfectly aligned with the heads of these bolts so we're basically using uh, the heads as dowels and then these as, as locating rings. I left these just a little bit short because the, the top of these bolts are radiused and I didn't want um, a bunch of dirt building up in here and then slowly working down uh, into the rings here just make it that much more difficult to get off. I'm going to tack these on here for now and then I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to fully weld it in the bench. Um, I'm going to cut up a piece of uh, construction paper to cover the rotor and uh, the, the forks here. Obviously you don't want to get welding splatter on any of this. And as well as doing these two sleeves, I'm gonna do one here for the sensor itself. Uh, it's just gonna go on the back side, something like that. If uh, any debris comes up, it's not gonna snap the sensor off. And if something happens with the bearings uh, and the wheel uh, starts to wobble, it's not gonna grind the sensor to pieces. So same thing, we'll just tack this on here. And this tube is just gonna get centered over the hole like that. So 
So we're just gonna do the one tiny little single tack on there and I'm gonna actually take this into a shop to get this stuff all tigged on here. The MIG is good for bigger things, uh, but the small finesse stuff when it's gonna be um, uh, a finished product, it's gonna be visible on the bike. We're gonna get it powder coated. Wanna make sure that this all looks good. The one last thing I think I should do is is cut a piece of uh, flat to come up and around here. And that's gonna protect this sensor from getting hit from any uh, any debris coming from the front. If I'm riding behind somebody, I'm gonna get the roost off their tires or if I get branch or something coming along, um, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna break this off. When I added the piece here, it's gonna protect the speed sensor. It's a really tight clearance here between the tube that I just welded on and the nut um, for the sensor. So I'm thinking I should probably tack a nut on here too, but it will look like that when it's done. And we're still gonna have lots of room with our factory fork guard here. Well, I guess I shouldn't say lots of room. We have room with our factory fork guard. So I've got a wheel speed sensor kind of done, um, kind of first draft. Uh, we'll probably make another one uh, when I have some time this winter. This one will suffice for now. So we've added a piece of tubing here so that when the, uh, when the sensor goes through, it's not sticking out the backside. It's just flush here, so I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Added a piece of flat on the front, same thing, sticks, rocks, etc., not hitting the sensor. And then we've got our little pieces of tubing here um, to uh, use the, the heads on the sockets, uh, the socket head bolts to keep this located. So you can see that they're a nice tight fit. In fact, when I get this powder coated, if I do use this one, um, I'm probably gonna have to turn the heads down on these just a hair uh, to get them to go, but tight is better than, better than loose. Uh, and I'll probably use stainless stuff in here just to keep uh, corrosion to a minimum. And we've got about a but a millimeter and a half of clearance there. I'm gonna snug these up. Uh, it, t it seems to get a little bit tighter, a little bit closer to the tone ring uh, when I tighten these bolts up. So just the way it's, uh, just the way it twists, seems to get a wee bit closer, but that's good there. It's about the same as uh, what was from the factory. So then our sensor is gonna go in and we're gonna take our bolt. And get that guy snugged up. And with our fork guards on here, uh, we've got a really great spot uh, for some some P clamps to keep this cable out of the way. So we're just going to piggyback these on here. And once we get the right brake caliper bracket in here, uh, we can get the caliper mounted and we can use one of our standard hose guides from our high fender kit. And so this will be retained as well as the hose for the caliper itself. With our wheel speed sensor bracket completed, basically the only thing we have left to do is the brakes. Uh, we have ordered a couple of different caliper mount brackets and they have come in wrong. So we've ordered a third and I hope that it is the final bracket uh, and then we can get this all wrapped up. If you have any questions about the projects, info at cameltank.com. Thanks for watching.